Hello everybody. Today I'm trying the Pico 4 for the second time because um, when the Pico 4 came out I instantly bought it and I also got like 30 or 35 percent of a discount because I'm an owner of the Pico 3 link and so it only costs me like 270 euros so very very great deal and yeah first thing um, I noticed right away so the Pico link software for the for the Pico 3 um, didn't work uh, didn't work with with the with the Pico streaming assist uh, when the Pico came out now this seems to be fixed so that's a great achievement. I don't know for how long this is, but um, when I uh, when I got the, the the Pico 4, I wondered why um, I couldn't get it uh, to start right away, and then I realized someone on Reddit uh, wrote that you have to deinstall the Pico Neo 3 software, and then it uh, worked well. So. This is something that's that is working right now out of the box and yeah as usual their installation went went smooth um, I really love it when somebody is uh, congratulation uh, is giving me congratulations to my, uh, because of my PC hardware so that's very nice and also the installer is checking if steam vr is installed is the pico driver is installed and if steam vr is added to the firewall whitelist um, so this uh, went smoothly also then it is really cool to uh, connect your pico via wi-fi with a 5 uh, gigahertz band and also connecting it uh, via usb3 so um, both um, worked well and in my case because I'm using uh, tethered VR and only PC VR so I'm using the USB cable right now I'm using the uh, USB cable from oculus or from from meta uh, so you have to use the USB 3 port otherwise the Pico will not work properly or even I don't think it's working via USB 2.0 or even uh, 1.0 is is 1.0 is still a thing so after clicking on next you're getting the USB streaming started information and waiting for VR to connect the thing is you have to start the streaming assistant also on your uh, quest uh, on your Pico and this is something I think it's not self-explained. Um, if you click on view instructions, you will get to a home page and yeah, it is not like, um, for example, PlayStation VR did a very good job with the, with the over instruction. And if you're first time user of VR, I think they did the best job uh, of all the companies. So. Yeah, that's, um, but it is like really uh, nitpicking. So yeah, after starting the software inside the, the Pico 4, Steam VR immediately started, everything was connected, everything went smoothly. So um, I don't know why, but Steam VR is showing 72 Hertz, but uh, maybe I have to restart it again. So quality is set to ultra and display is also set. Display refresh rate is set to 90 Hertz. So I will dive into HMD test center and give the Pico Fear another go. So, and we're back in the test HMD center. So, yeah, the first thing I notice is the quality of the picture is not as good in... in it's such a bummer. So, <laughs> you, you can feel it um, by my reaction. So, yesterday I tried the Pico 3 link and with the display port 
it is really crisp and you can uh, read everything. And I just um, started Steam VR and is the small pictures of the games where like um, uh, you you can see the the um, uh, the compression because um, the Pico 4 runs with uh, USB C and not with Display Port and the first test is the the distance test um, five meter away and. Yeah, it's such a sh uh, such a shame. <laughs> Didn't get that out um, because um, even the 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 small numbers. Yeah, I know that there is one, two, three, and so on. But if I'm honest, it is because I know there is one, two, three, four, and so on. So the the numbers, like for example, this twenty. Um, 20 and, and 100. So now I can't read this. And with the Pico 3, I was able to read till row four, four uh, uh, sorry, till uh, eighth row. And with the crystal, I'm able to read even the last row. And if I um, go up with the resolution, then I'm able to read it even clearer. So uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. The Pico 4, it is a very good device. So I really love the form factor. It is for me uh, the gold standard right now, looking forward for the big screen beyond. Um, but now for the price of the crystal uh, of the Pimax, so <laughs> the price of the Pico 4, it is really a good headset. So I love the controllers, but the thing that really um, drives me nuts is the pass through. So uh, the color pass through and everything it is really really great. You should try it out. I think there is no way to to capture the path through, but yeah, they did a very good job. So let's try the FOV test. So now got the vertical FOV, like I told you in other videos, I have a very Ball FOV like 60 to 58 depends on the device. So, yeah, with 94, yeah, this is 94. It is that's for the vertical, and now let's have a look. And the horizontal field of view. So right now I'm kind of getting to the edge where the um, red line is touching the, the circle of the FOV. So like the Pico Neo 3, it is a very round FOV. And with 94 to 96, yeah. It is mostly gone. So with 96, 96, 94, I can spot a little bit of red line and with 98. So I have to move the HMD a little bit. So then I can um, see the red lines, but honestly, I'm not able to see them when I'm looking, for example, left or right only with with the eyes closed. So um, if you don't have used the, the FOV software or this test HMD software, so you can't look 
um, left or right with your head. So if you move your, your head, the whole picture is nailed to your view. It's like the Oculus Go. Um, so this because so you can't cheat the, the FOV or it's not able to, to achieve different um, results using uh, the HMDs. But what I can do is like move the HMD a little bit left or right then. So yeah, but I would say it's a fair 94 degrees. So it's okay. But like I told you yesterday, or when I tried the Pico Neo 3, um, the round FOV, you miss like the, the, for example, when you're using the crystal, you have a very uh, rectangular um, uh, FOV and not a circle. So you have more um, area that will, uh, that you will see. So, yeah, but for me, the the result is totally fine. So I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't know. Pico said something like 105 degrees. So yeah, like usually it depends on your IPD, but it is fine. So then the what are absolutely uh, what's absolutely noticeable is the aliasing so with the crystal there is no question there is no such thing as aliasing but with the pico Neo 3 it's also very very nice um to the edges there is a little bit of aliasing but here it is you can see the whole picture is like um yeah, compressed and it feels a little bit like streaming um, via via um, Wi-Fi, and yeah, like I said, it's it's such a bummer. They it could be such a perfect HMD, um, but I think most of the users will will try the the wireless mode. So. I know some some users um, who are using virtual desktop and trying to max out the the, the bandwidth and even with a 4090 um, you can really get uh, uh, nice visuals but yeah, you need the hardware. Um, so I will try a glare test and yeah Glare is definitely noticeable, also God rays and yeah, so that's definitely a thing. But the pancake lenses in terms of um, form factor, they are really great. So oh, nice. So the colors, I think they're not as good as as with the Pico 3. And unfortunately, the colors of the Pico 3 are also not as good. So today um, in the office, I uh, played like five minutes with the Quest 2 uh, in standalone mode. So yeah. Um, I'm not a standalone guy, so it is cool. I uh, really uh, laughed at Meta did the, the standalone thing, but um, after using PC VR, yeah, you, there's probably no no way to go back. So it is a nice headset. Um, like I said in uh, too many users. Um, I don't think there are really bad HMDs out there. So, of course, if you compare the Crystal with the um, Oculus CV1, the Rift CV1, yeah, sure, <laughs> they're miles away. 
but also with the CV1, you can have a great experience if you don't have used VR before. So Pico, uh, Pico4 also for now a really good choice if you're um, looking for standalone and also wireless streaming. If you're looking for a really good picture quality, then go for the Pico 3. And if you're looking for the best, go for the uh, go, go with the crystal. So, yes, I guess see you next time. And yeah, thank you for the nice comments and the really positive feedback. So right now I didn't get any negative or even trolling feedback that's really really nice and yeah i will keep doing this as long as um i'm getting i don't know the 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 good feedback and yeah it's kind of fun testing the old hmds so yeah maybe i will try cv1 or even dk2 but Right now, there are many HMDs in, in the office, um, so I will test them one by one. And yeah, so the, the gold standard is the crystal right now, and I will, every, I will compare everything with the crystal. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm not a professional hardware reviewer or tester. Um, those are mostly like quick testing. So this is like a one shot I'm, I'm putting on the HMD and then I'm trying to explain you what I see and what I feel. Um, so no scientific tests or something, but yeah, like, um, yesterday, everything worked fine. Installation went fine. So yeah. And okay that's it i guess <laughs> see you next time thank you and goodbye